Well, it's a blistering hot day here in Illinois, and Randallin has us riding where? Food trucks. The food trucks in Rockford. I guess every Tuesday they get together and they have a big gathering of food trucks, but I don't know. But that's what we're going to do, so I guess we'll see you in a little bit. So in a weird turn of events, I had to come to the police station here in Rockford. Um, going down the road, some guy decided to hit my motorcycle. Don't worry, I am okay. I did not fall over or anything, but his mirror hit right here on my mirror, if you can see the damage. And then on my grip right there, he took a little piece out. He uh, decided he didn't want to wait behind two motorcycles and tried passing in a one lane and ended up sideswiping me. I uh, came to the police department, filed a hit and run report, and I have his tag number and I believe he's a lawyer because he was at the courthouse. So I found his vehicle. I tried filing a report there, but they said I had to come to the Rockford PD versus the sheriffs. So Rockford Police District 1, all kinds of fun. Now we're going to go to the uh, food trucks because Randallin had to go somewhere else. She didn't want to be here, so I'll see you in a minute. I left the police station. Now I'm just waiting for Randallin to meet up with me. She uh, went to the pet store to get something. I don't know. Because, uh, she, like I said, she didn't want to be around for the police because, yeah, never dealing with the police is never fun, unfortunately. And the one time I don't have my camera on, something happens. Gotta love that because I love video footage of people doing things they're not supposed to. So, uh, yeah, I'm waiting for Randlin, and as soon as she meets up, we're going to head over to the food trucks and get some good stuff to eat. We made it to our destination. We're at Mississippi Park or Mississippi Gardens. Um, there's a couple of food trucks here and somebody left a beautiful little pair of flip-flops or sandals or whatever those are and Look at those clouds. It's starting to rain a little bit. I think we're gonna get soaked Gotta love the summer when the heat kicks up and all that stuff kicks in because man, that's gonna suck If we get wet it is what it is. So we're gonna go find a food truck to eat at there's uh, like three or four here I'm not even sure but yeah Yeah, it's gonna be fun well, so far, they have one thing that has hot dogs and brats, one that only has steak tacos, which Randlin won't eat, and another place that only sells churros. So now we gotta go all the way over here on the other side of Mississippi uh, Gardens to see what these guys have, and hopefully they have some good food, because so far I'm pretty disappointed, and I think it's gonna run. I mean, look at that. <laughs> We're gonna get wet. All right, let's see what they got. Hopefully we can find some good food. I'm hungry. We made it to the other side of Sydney Sippy Gardens, and of course, they ruined it with the railroad track. Beautiful view of the river and the railroad track, but right here, if I can zoom in on it, that's a donk for you, look at that. Convertible, big old wheels, car in the way, that is a beautiful donk. If it's still there, when I get done, I'm gonna go check that out, because that is a nice car. A trolley, I've never seen that before. That's a derfer. Just riding on down the way. Isn't that cool? I didn't even know Rockford had that. Usually I see regular trains come through here. Never seen this. That's pretty cool. I might have to go snag a ride because I'm lazy. I know you guys can't see it, but uh, it started raining on us. So it's uh, getting pretty heavy. You can see over here a little bit. It's a pretty bad downpour. Hopefully it doesn't last long because I don't want to get any more wet than I am. I'm already soaked through with sweat because I wore a leather vest in 93 degree heat. Man, I'm a smart fella. So we are under a severe thunderstorm warning and tornado watch. You can't see how green the sky is at the camera, but we have to ride home about 30 miles. Yeah, and we're heading into the storm. So I'm gonna put my camera on and you guys can see what it's like to get caught in the rain. It sucks, but thank God for helmets so my face doesn't get pelted.
So we made it back home, we got stuck in a severe thunderstorm, got a little wet. Uh, I'm sure you'll hear in the video, I got some water in my uh, air breather, that custom air breather sucked up a bunch of water, but I got it all out of there, thank God. Uh, we got home, the trash cans are knocked over, a branch was laying on our car, but it's not that bad. But yeah, just a little wet, I'll show you here. Randallin. <laughs> and then you can see I'm just like soaked head to toe. Yeah, a lot of fun. So just for some uh, just for some tacos at the food truck. Um, if you've ever been caught in the rain before, it feels like getting hit with a pressure washer all over your body. Thankfully, I was wearing leather vests, so it didn't hurt too bad, except for on my arms. But they're they're pretty raw. So was it worth it, Randlin, for some tacos? No. No. Okay. So next time we'll listen to your husband and not ride to Rockford when it's supposed to rain, right? Maybe. All right. Give the video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Make sure you uh, subscribe if you're not, and uh, leave a comment, share it with all your friends. Thanks for watching.